Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the sign of Pisces. So Pisces, wherever you have this planetary placement in your chart, claim it if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, please do not force fit on this channel. There is sick, thick, dense energy on YouTube. It's worldwide. Also, speaking of worldwide, whoever you are and wherever you are out on this planet, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, we're grateful for your presence, so thank you for taking the time out of your day, and whether or not anybody's told you this, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Now, let's hit this. Clear and ground. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit. Please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Pisces. Pisces. All right, little fishies, here we go. Show me Pisces. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Just like every other freaking video. We'll start with kippers today, guys. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it is. The answer is yes. Here. Yeah. Show me Pisces. Show me Pisces. And show me Pisces. Thank you. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. So here we got a family room with no family in it. 21 and 3. We also have somebody that's uh, high honor. This could be somebody in the military, the Lord, just somebody that you have respect for, has respect for you. Somebody wants to court somebody. Well, wow, now we have four. So 25 and 7, 21 and 3, and 4. Show me. Somebody might be going on a journey. Now, it could be a day trip, a weekend journey, a vacation, whatever it is. Somebody could just be taking a trip. Oh, I'm seeing that. Um, okay, I'm hearing Trans Europe Express. Trans. So this could be that train that goes around Europe. Okay, I couldn't give you the name of it because I've never been to Europe, but in 10, some kind of journey. I'm seeing brown luggage. Yeah. Okay. This is that. This is the kind of train people sleep in. We have a locomotive. We have a locomotive number nine. What? Okay. Wow. All right. Here we go. Tell me what else, Kipper. Anyway, somebody's gonna get some kind of a message. Number seven could be a message of anything. Could be a message, you know, to go visit somebody. You have adjudication. Somebody could get a message that they have to go to some kind of a court situation. Okay, 30 or 7. There we go. Yeah, somebody's distant horizon. So somebody could be going on a journey, like I said, a vacation. Maybe like Jamaica or someplace tropical. Um, someplace where there's like white sands and beautiful sea green water. I'm seeing a seagull. I'm also seeing a patchwork uh, quilt. Somebody's concerned about something. 33 or 6. 36. You also have 369. 369 could be your megahertz for your binaural beat for your sound bath. It is the sounds of creation. It's the sounds of manifestation. It's third eye activation. This is a, yeah, I'm belching. Two, this is a big female involved. This is number two and a wealthy man. 13 or four. All right. So that could be the courtship. I'm hearing, uh, tell me. Okay, so you got a community here. 39 or 12. This could be any kind of community. Like right now you're in the tarot community. It could be a community where, you know, you hang out. It could be a community where you live. Okay. I'm hearing a community of foodies. What, what, What's that? I don't know. But here you go. Somebody's an official person here. This official person could be a judge. This official person could be somebody that's in high honor. This could, official person could be somebody that wants to court you. This official person could be the distant horizons. This could be a message you're going to get. Okay. Process server. Process server alert. So, this official person could be a process server coming to get you papers. That maybe that you have to go to some kind of, you know, yeah, adjudication. See the papers on the... So, if you don't want to get served with papers and somebody approaches you and says, are you such and such... Just deny it, okay? There's, yeah, again with this official person. Why? Because somebody could be going to prison here. Listen, Pisces, I'm serious. There's a new pathway opening up, all right? So some kind of a, oh, look, there's a light at the end of the tunnel for a lot of you. You could be dealing with a Leo. Somebody's going to get a gift. And there's going to be a change there in the message again. So I'm telling you, you know? Here, now, let's see. We're going to, um, 
And what I've been trying to do is sell to course and then clarify with those, but it hasn't been working out that way. But we're going to try it with you. Show me, Pisces. Pisces, please. All right. So in the energy that you're in right now, let's see. Show me, Pisces. Pisces. All right. There we go. The energy that you're in right now. Okay, five of wands in reverse. This is Leo energy for some kind of, you know, truce, avoiding conflict, some kind of tension relief. You don't want to be in, you know, competition or fighting or aggravation or any kind of tension and bullshit and baggage and, yeah, drama. You come, well, you want to be out of drama. You do not want to be in drama. All right, I'm seeing red and white checkered. Dress, tablecloth, something like this. Some kind of red and white checkered situation. Could be a checkerboard even. Could be. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, you also have... Uh, Okay, yeah, look, you want to come out of some kind of conflict and you want to heal, be happy, you know, happy. Maybe have some reason to celebrate here with the Three of Cups. Three of Cups talks about parties and gatherings, social events. So you want to come out of conflict and start enjoying yourself a little. That's good. It's at the foundation of this situation. Oh, look, you're coming out of your head. Good. It's getting over whatever. This is uh, overcoming any kind of constrictive anxiety, any kind of aggravation it's overcoming all the shit that comes with it so that's really good you're coming out of your head that's about time and this you know this is a you know okay um it's coming in this way so but it doesn't matter i mean it does you always have to acknowledge when it comes in on a shelf however this is about whatever happens in your past or somebody from your past or maybe some of you crowning you're gonna be feeling a little nostalgic or sentimental somebody from your past can be showing up has to do with something from your past, okay? Now, with the Six of Cups, it was, you know, some of you could be living in the past or getting over that. You know, it's on the shelf. We'll leave it on the shelf. Damn it, all right. So you could be getting over things and places and situations from your past. You're in the middle of getting over this, crowning you. This is why you want to come out of conflict and just enjoy yourself. You're not really worried about it anymore, all right? Now, coming in where you don't see. Show me. What else? We have... A queen of swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Pisces. This is somebody who's very smart. They're articulate. They could be single. They think. They're constructive, objective, and independent. They're also, you know, very fair and balanced. This is somebody who could be looking for. Somebody wants some kind of success. You're looking at this like success. Now, if this is you with air in your chart, being very clear thinking and looking ahead to your future, you are... Looking ahead towards success, okay? You want to be successful. You're going to be. In your actual environment, you have a Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and this is also about having a lot of self-confidence you know, confidence and pride. And it's a victory. It's people seeing you in a very good light. The Knight of Cups in your environment is somebody who's maybe coming in to make an offer. This is somebody who's very um, kind and nurturing. They're charming. They're romantic. You know, they, they were a romantic person. Um, you could have stolen somebody's heart or somebody could have stolen yours. Also, somebody could be guarded of their heart. This could be you or them, but uh, yeah, somebody's coming out of the mud here. So be strong, resilient, and brave. Do not lose your self-confidence. Leo energy. That's your advice. Spirit's advising you, yeah, what I just said. Courage. Inner strength. Now, the most likely outcome on this scenario is the four of wands. Nice. Happiness, celebration, family, healing. This is nice. We like this, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, some of you could be detaching and walking away. Obviously, we see it up here. Even though there's not a, you know, like a moving on card, we can see that somebody wants to come out of conflict. They want to have a reason to celebrate and be happy. No more driving themselves crazy, getting over shit from the past, looking ahead to the future. This is nice, all right? Detaching from any bullshit that was behind you. Tempering your emotions. You completed a cycle. You got the assignment. You're ready to go rule the world. Something's ending, so something new can begin. That's very appropriate. Scorpio energy. The world is Taurus. You got Sagittarius. And the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor to happiness. We love this, okay? We love this. The Hierophant was after that. Some of you could be getting married even. I don't know. Could work out that way. It's a matter of time, right? Now, the single ones are going. I'm not even talking to anybody yet, but that's the thing yet, okay? Now, let's clarify for Pisces. Here we go. We have... Uh, we have, okay, again, the Eight of Swords coming out of your head. In reverse, look at this. It's nice, right? Not being worried, not having anxiety anymore, not stressing out, not making uh, oh, scenarios up to drive yourself crazy. It's a freedom. It's a release. Show me. All right, look at this. You're walking right into the Ten of Pentacles. Thank God. Ten of Pentacles, we know what this is. Yeah, it's financial abundance. It is. I mean, but also it's legacy, it's roots, it's family. 
You know, I'm hearing the ties that bind. The ties that, let me write that down. That's a good one. Hold on a second. The ties that bind. Okay, so, happiness, financial stability. Somebody could have a golden retriever. Uh, here you go. The emperor in charge, taking control of the situation. Some of you could be cooking up with an Aries. Some of you have Aries in your chart. But this is something that don't miss a trick. They're stable. They're, they're Listen, they're solid. Everything's in order, okay? They have everything they need. Of course, they would have the Ten of Pentacles. This person, this is all four kings in one. The best attributes rolled up and then some. After the emperor, there's source. That's it. So maybe you could, uh, could be having maybe two children. I'm seeing a little girl and a little boy. I'm seeing a little boy with a little red T-shirt on. With a red T-shirt on. Maybe about seven or something like this. Uh, hold on a second. Here we go. Show me. What else is going on here? So, and anything else? Yeah. Okay, great. So here you go. The Nine of Swords. You know, stressed out, worried, up in your head for whatever reason. Maybe not sleeping at night right now. Um, I'm seeing somebody. Oh, maybe. Okay. Some of you out there, ladies, are in menopause. I just have to say it. You're having night flashes. It's hot sweats at night. It is what it is. I mean, you know. Um, yeah. So there's that. Something about a crescent moon. Something could be happening on the crescent moon. I'm seeing the letter M. You also have a knight of cups here. Somebody coming in. Oh, maybe by the crescent moon. To make an offer. Um, again, the Knight of Cups. It's here twice. So I explained it once already. Somebody's got some kind of feelings and here they come. This could be stressing you out. Maybe you're nervous. Maybe you haven't dated in a while, especially if you're this Queen of Swords here. You know what I'm saying? And it's not the Queen of Swords coming in. What's going on here? Look, all right here. A freaking four of wands again. Look, they're repeating. Happiness, celebration. This is going to give you, this is, whatever this is, whatever this offer is, is going to make you very happy. Look what's over here, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, I'm telling you. All right, so here we go. So we got, uh, let me see, one more up here. We'll move down to the next. All right, look, you completed this again, again. I can't make this up. You completed a cycle, Taurus energy. It's Taurus and Aries here. Aries twice, so Aries is highly predominant. You have Leo twice. Yeah, four ones is Aries again. So listen, let's see. You completed a cycle, you, like I told you. Now you're ready to start a whole new, a whole new, I mean, a whole new world. <laughs> okay, here we go. Go down here. Show me. Show me, show me, show me. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not, okay, here. You got the Page of Pentacles. So a new beginning. A very, a new beginning. That's what the Page of Pentacles is. Starting something new. Page of Pentacles, you know, obviously it could be something financial. Obviously. But uh, it is a new beginning. And it's a solid new beginning. It's something that's going to grow roots, okay? It's, you know, it's the beginning steps of becoming this uh, King of Pentacles. All right? So, but a beginning. Whether it's financial or not. So now let me see. I'm seeing cherry blossoms. Whoa. What is that? Yeah. A do what? Dogwood? Okay, look at this. Somebody here is trying to get away with something. You got the seven of swords. This is this very satiated, no good person here. Look at their face. This person looks like they're winking, like, haha. You know, this could, whatever this is, somebody's trying to be very deceptive here, whatever, on any level, okay? They could be scheming, they could be strategizing strategizing some new beginning here or a beginning. This person looks like, you know, usually I don't like this person at all. I really, I have an animosity towards this person. However, right now this person looks like, yeah, I got this. Like they, they got this. They, they're going to, they're doing something here. All right. Something about a new beginning. Somebody's, I don't know, Pisces. Yeah. You, you only, only for resonates. Don't force fit. By the way, thanks for hitting like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Show me. Okay, what am I telling you? A new beginning. A leap of faith. Take the damn thing. Here comes the information. All right? You know, it's required right now with this for you to be like this page of wands. Carefree, like like a childlike again. Living in the moment. Happy. You know, like, um, some of this, the page of wands could also be a messenger. You could be getting some exciting uh, some exciting news or a message from this person that looks like they got this. I mean, when I got this, all right. Somebody's got this. Whatever it is. Some of you might be going to like a fair or some kind of a, yeah, like I'm seeing a fair with, with the circus, tents, I'm seeing, seeing funnel cakes. Look at this. Look at this. To the Ten of Cups, did I tell you? Now, Two of Swords is in reverse. Somebody's conscience is, somebody's going to come and tell you some kind of a truth. You know what the truth is going to be? Because I'm going to tell you. The truth is going to be that um, 
They were strategizing some kind of beginning with you. They want to take a leap of faith with you, which is going to lead to the Ten of Cups. Somebody's going to come and tell you they have feelings for you that you're not aware of, okay? And they want to take this new leap of faith. Listen, all I'm saying is go for it. You can't be any worse off than you are now, right? And it's better to try and fail than not to try at all and have regret. I'm telling you that. Now, the most likely outcome of this, which we see is happiness, see a family, seeing string lights. Some kind of string lights. They could be in a yard. You know, garden party, some kind of garden yard party. Okay. The devil. Somebody here, there could be toxicities. You could just be dealing with a Capricorn. This is, and somebody could have some kind of mental illnesses. Maybe somebody needs some kind of medication. God forbid somebody's on drugs or something like this. Somebody could want some kind of control or something. Okay, we're going to take them all. Here we go. You ready? You have something, somebody's got to go and focus. They're going to overcome any obstacles to get to it. you got Capricorn and uh, Cancer Energy. This is about yeah, having control. Uh, or you, what I say control? Maybe control over their mental facilities. Somebody's got control now. Are you, temper your emotions. Somebody's trying to... This is about balancing themselves out. So if somebody had some kind of mental illness here, you know, they took control of the situation and they ba they're balancing themselves out or they will balance themselves out. Reno could be of significance here. You know what I'm saying? This could be like any kind of mental illnesses here. This person's holding their head like they're in agony. Maybe they suffer with really bad headaches, something like this. Whatever it is, they could have some kind of toxic problem here, you know. And it could be scary if it's not under control, but somebody's looking like they're having control over the situation, tempering their emotions. And now, you know, there is the Ten of Wands, though. There's burdens, you know, baggage. But it's the end. Like, this is somebody, you know what this Ten of Wands is? This person... This could come with some baggage, all right? This could come with a little bit of baggage. Oh, you got ten of swords, but there is a painful ending. And then somebody's moving on to their to their all right. So somebody's this could have been a lot of baggage. This this with this mental illness and somebody's taking control over if this is resonating with you, or whatever toxicities this was, drug addiction, whatever. All right. Somebody looks like they took the reins. They they tried to get some control over this and they tempered their emotions. This could come with some baggage though because you still got this residual situation you have to deal with. And there could be a painful ending because of it. But if there is, it doesn't matter because whether there's a painful ending or not, I mean, you're at the tens of the, you're at the end of the burdens and the baggage and the painful endings. You're at the end. There is no 11. You got a three of wands now. You know, it's about looking forward, taking the lead, momentum, growth and, you know, foresight and being, you're going to be victorious here. You are, you got victory. That's the six of wands again. All right. So thank you for hitting the like and subscribe, Pisces. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.